Hello everybody, uh, welcome to my channel. Today we will discuss about the Durbin Watson test using our software. And the Durbin Watson test uh, uses for detecting uh, autocorrelation in a regression model. And uh, as all of you know that autocorrelation occurs when the residual of regression model are not independent of each other. And uh, this autocorrelation, uh, it, 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 it will mislead you, especially it leads you to underestimation of the standard error of the uh, predictor uh, variables. And this in turn makes you that, uh, uh, this in turn makes you that, or to think the predictors are significant. But frankly speaking, they are not statistically significant. So I strictly recommend you, uh, you to check uh, for the non-existence of autocorrelation in your regression model. And the Durbin uh, Watson uh, statics again it uses two hypotheses. The first one is the null hypothesis, and the second one is the alternative hypothesis. Coming to the null hypothesis means you have to say it in this way. There is no correlation among the residual. While the alternative hypothesis is the residual are autocorrelated. So by this way you can uh, say it in your uh, hypothesis statement. And mm, the Durbin uh, Watson test statistics has uh, always the value of, uh, between 0 and 4. That means 0 up to 2 means there is uh, a positive autocorrelation and 2 means there is no autocorrelation and when the value of the Durbin Watson statistics range 2 up to 4 means it is a negative autocorrelation. So as a rule of thumb, uh, as a rule of thumb uh, we assume that the residual are not correlated when the Durbin Watson test is ranges between uh, 1.5 and 2.5. And uh, again, in similar fashion you can consider that uh, for example, if the Durban Watson test value below 1 or above 3 are uh, considered as what there is autocorrelation among the residuals. So by this way, you can uh, define uh, the Durban Watson statics. So let's import our uh, data, and which is found in the uh, desktop. Uh, let's import it. Yes, here is the desktop. Yeah, here is our data. Yes, then let's fit uh, the regression uh, model, the simple linear regression model, considering uh, GY or the grid yield as uh, a dependent variable, while the plant aid or the pH as independent variable. So you can assign a name then you have to use a function of linear model. Then here is the GY is the, uh, the response variable or the dependent variable, and it's explained by the dependent variable. Again, you have to indicate your data. So our data name is AGNW. So type this and uh, fit the linear regression. So let's admit this one. So here is the uh, intercept, here is the uh, uh, coefficient. So our aim is what to um, to, get, to calculate or to uh, check autocorrelation uh, whether it's uh, present or not in our regression module. So we already uh, created the, the linear regression module, then we will check autocorrelation using the Durbin Watson test statistics method. And in order to do that, we have to use two uh, packages. The first one is the LN test, and the second one is the color package. So let's submit this to our studio and if you haven't this package uh, it is better to install it uh, uh, in our software. Then you have to use the W test function then the formula is mean, which equals to WAC. WAC means the model that you created here that means the linear and model of the, the dependent variable GY explained by independent variable PH then alternative is equals to two-sided. So if you submit this one, you can uh, get the Durban Western test Sussex. So accordingly, here is a p-value is 0 0.06, which is which is uh, greater than 0 0.05, and so it's not statistically 
and significant even the DW is 1.7 still it is a positive uh, autocorrelation but in order to say uh, no autocorrelation the value should be uh, come around what uh, 2 so uh, by this way we can uh, perform using the LM test uh, package I will come up with the uh, interpretation and the second is using the car package again you have to load this package into our software in this way then in order to perform the Durban Watson test using the car package you have to use the Durban uh, Watson uh, test T is capital then you have to indicate the model so our model is work what we can test here is the linear uh, regression so type this and submit our studio then you can get the p-value 0.056 and the, uh, the Durban Watson statics which is equal to 1.7 which is equivalent to the previous one so accordingly uh, from this output uh, we can see that the test statistics is uh, 1.74 for both cases and uh, its corresponding p-value is 0.056 here again here 0.06559 and since both uh, p values is greater than 0.05 so we can accept the hypothesis and conclude that the residual uh, in this regression as mentioned so what uh, regression model are not what autocorrelated but for example if our p value is 0.02 so we will reject our null hypothesis and we will conclude that uh, there is uh, uh, there is autocorrelated uh, or there is autocorrelation in our regression uh, model or in work model. So by these two ways we can uh, we can uh, conduct or compute uh, the Durban Watson test statistics for detecting autocorrelation in our regression model. So this is all about today's tutorial and as usual, don't forget to provide your valuable comment and suggestion to my channel using my email and YouTube description, uh, YouTube comment box. Thank you for watching, have a nice time.